let's talk about getting lit. <laughs> so what is it? What is candle work and how do we use it to manifest whatever it is you want? Stick around, we'll talk about that. Now candle work is something I've received a lot of questions on, particularly since I do have the more scientific based attitude of using quantum physics to manifest desires. And candle work people tend to think of as ooh spooky magic. All right. First of all, all magic, all spell work is just a way of focusing your will so that you can use quantum metaphysics to bring in your desired result. Everyone understand that? Do I need to say it louder for the people in the back? Okay, good. So when we talk about candle work or candle magic, that falls well within the realm of using the quantum physics to, to manifest anything. It's a form of focus. So candle work is kind of like alchemy because all of the elements are represented. We have the fire, the flame, the air so it can breathe, the melted wax is the water, and solid wax is earth. Beyond those basic elements, then you can incorporate the colors, the herbs, the oils, the crystals, and any other candle dressings you want to best bring about your desired result. You can do candle work with any type of candle as long as your intention is there. So that makes it incredibly economically feasible for most people. Candle work is tailored to what you're trying to do. Everyone practices differently. So, you know, take as much inspiration from this as, you know, you want. Take inspiration from other sources. Do it your own way. But the basics are you place your candle in a cleansed sacred space. You return to it roughly, you either return to it at the same time every day to meditate and keep your focus, or you keep it lit for a certain amount of time, or you keep it lit until the flame burns out. It depends on your comfort level and having a candle flame burning in your house. Always keep an eye on the flame, observe how it behaves. If you are doing meditation and you are focused on a candle flame, which a number of my meditations have mentioned, then the flame starts flickering or bending a certain way or just, you know, behaving other than what you would expect. Pay attention to that because that is the energy communicating back to you. Also remember, don't blow your candles out. Even if you're just leaving the house, you do not want to blow them out because that will blow away your intention. You can use a candle snuffer and snuff it out. You can use your fingers. If it's a lidded candle, put the lid on, the air will run out. And primarily, you know, you use candles to set off an intention or to raise a specific kind of energy. The advantage of using candles is they are kind of like an energetic slow release item. You put your energy into the candle, your intention, your intent, your dressings, whatever energy you're putting into it. And then as the candle burns, it slow releases that energy into the quantum morphic field. Yep. If you are trying to solve a problem, you take a yellow candle for focus and put some cinnamon on it and burn that down and see if being around that provides you with that extra focus, that extra little oomph so that you can see a new solution to the problem that you're doing. You can always buy candles that are pre-prepared for whatever use you have. Um, you can get them anywhere from 59 cents at your local uh, botanica up to spending, you know, $25, $30 on one candle from a specific source that has it completely dressed for your intent. It is entirely up to you. Just remember, money is an exchange for energy. So the more money you put into that candle, the more energy the practitioner that you're purchasing it from has put into that candle, and the more energy that is released as the candle burns. This is a case of you get what you pay for. 
but candle magic is some of the quickest and easiest work to do. So, you know, all you have to do is light it. The flame burns as its own entity. It becomes a self-sustaining, slow release of the energy into the quantum morphic field to bring about your desired result. You can also layer meanings on a candle. You can use herbs to dress it, oils to dress it, you can carve in symbols, you can carve in runes, you can carve in sigils. You can just write your intent on a candle. If you are trying to bring something into your life and you're carving your intent into the wax of the candle, start at the top, go down to the bottom. If you're trying to use the candle to remove something from your life, start at the bottom and write towards the top. You should also consider, you know, what color are you are you using? What scent are you using? How long of a burn is it? So you want to go for um, either soy or plant wax candles if you can. They're more environmentally friendly. The wax doesn't burn very hot, so if you do end up spilling some on yourself, you're not going to hurt yourself. If you buy candles with a spell intention already in them, buy them from someone that is a reliable source, someone who does energy work, someone who runs a botanica and has an apothecary shop and really knows what they are doing. This is very fast working. It can be very intense, so be sure exactly what you're asking for and make sure it's something you are ready to receive. So how do we get lit? Step one, what are you trying to manifest? Now this is crucial. Think about what you want to bring into your life. Be specific, be positive, be kind. Don't wish bad things on other people no matter how obnoxious they are. Let their energy take care of it. Clarify your intention into a single sentence. I need to find a job that pays more and makes me feel fulfilled in what I do. Very clear, very direct. Then, yeah, set the energy. The most basic form of this is you hold the candle, you visualize your goal, you say your sentence, and you light the candle. That is the most basic form of doing it. It really is that simple and that easy to do. Now you can do things that will enhance this energy release, choosing the candle's color. So you're picking one that corresponds with the nature of your goal. You know, pick crystals, herbs, flowers, oils to amplify the vibrational level of the candle as it burns. I mean, if you really want to get fancy about it, check the check the astrology before you light it. You know, if you are wanting to bring fresh opportunities into your life, make sure that you start on a new moon because a new moon is when things start to grow and build. If you want to remove and influence your from your life. Start that on a full moon because then as the moon wanes, that influence in your life wanes as well. And if it makes you feel better, go ahead and come up with, you know, a chant, poem, song, whatever, because it increases your energetic output. It will give you an additional level of focus for controlling the energy you're putting into the quantum morphic field that will then control what is returned to you in your manifestation. So let's just do a quick overview of the different candle colors. So there's white, which is serenity, peace, enhancing personal strength, enhancing your insight. Black is protection, removing negativity, um, banishing negative energy from your life. Green, bringing ideas to life, amplifying prosperity and abundance. Now this prosperity and abundance could be a financial windfall or it could be getting pregnant. Green is the color of fertility. Blue connects your chakras and you know brings clarity to any emotional wounds that need healing. 
Blue is also the color of communication. If you are using candle work to enhance your ability to communicate with someone, blue is an excellent color. Yellow is networking and social skills, bringing in career opportunities, clarity of thought, and new ideas. Red is the color of passion. Love, sex, passion, finding your passion, finding what you're passionate about. All of this comes under red. Now the, low, the slightly less intense version of that is pink. Pink is romance. Pink is your heart doorway. Pink is working to bring romantic love into your life. Purple is boosting your spiritual enlightenment and creativity. Orange encourages your ambition, helps you broaden your, your horizons, and expand, as a, expand your awareness, expand your consciousness. Brown candles help with all things relating to resources, things that come from the earth, encouraging things to grow, health, energy, pets, endurance, courage. This is all brought in through brown. And then gold and silver are excellent for if you're doing any sort of manifesting in wealth and prosperity. We psychologically look at these colors and immediately there is that connection. This is money. Now one thing is if you only have white candles, if you can get glitter in the various colors and put a little bit of glitter on there, that works perfectly fine. One of my favorite tricks is I, you know, I go out to one of the big box star stores and I'll buy a package of a hundred votive candles. Little white tea lights. Little things, you know, a pack of a hundred of them cost maybe four bucks. And I will burn one every night. And I will have an intent on each one that I burn. And I will dress it with oils or glitter or herbs or whatever is needed for that intent. It burns for six to eight hours and then burns out before morning. So I can feel safe putting it in, say, my bathroom sink and letting it burn overnight because I know it's in a safe place. I'll have a glass of water next to it to welcome in the spirits of my ancestors, depending on which ancestors I'm working with. I may have a little shot of alcohol next to it, but it's in a safe space where it can burn out freely and I don't have to worry about any accidents happening. You do not have to go all out with candles. You do not have to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to manifest your desires. Using these little teeny, you know, 2.5 cents each tea lights, I manifested a better relationship with my family. That's worth more than any amount of money. But that's what I used to do it. So, you know, working with candles is beneficial. It helps with the focus and it helps to slow release the energy so you don't have to pay attention to what you're doing every second of the day. If you have any questions about using candles, drop me a line. You know, ask a question in the comments below. I love hearing from people and I will you know, get to as many of them as I can. I am Marna. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.